think I'm unmuted now, right? All right, guys. So I did a card reading. I did it while we were waiting to go live. So the first card I actually pulled out of a three-card deck or a three-card pool was the Choose Wisely card. It's telling us that um, now is pretty much a time of big choices. Since Mercury just went out of retrograde, uh, there's a lot of life-changing events happening and different things are coming forward and um, pretty much just giving us a, a view of what our life could be, which leads us to our other two cards. And these cards are really good to be all read together because the second one was temptation and the third one was harmony, which meant that we really need to choose wisely in the path that we're currently taking. Um, the, the divine gave us a lot of time to relax while Mercury was in retrograde and a lot of us kind of may have even got off our paths or taken a break, but now it's really like the time to think about what you really want to manifest in this next year is the, the holidays are coming and families are getting together and just there's a lot of things that are just really tempting us. So even though Mercury has been technically said to be out of retrograde, it's still a very um, touchy time. But the divine is pretty much telling us that we're going to get through it because harmony is in our future and we're all going to keep on following the light and making positive choices um, and just generally saying that if we follow all of our divine paths, the collective consciousness is really on its way forward. Um, the Choose Wisely card, it's actually an emotion card. It says that your emotions may be flaring right now. Um, if you have visions or goals that may have seemed scattered and unrealistic, it's really just trying to remind you that you can take a stand and do anything you have enough motivation or determination to do because our opportunities are bountiful at this time and you obviously have a lot of decisions to be made. It's got five hands so there could be as many as five, maybe more or less. They're all making different motions which is really just the divine telling you to take a stern action in your life. Just be sure you don't fall to temptation and just try to stay grounded. Don't feed into addictions or bad habits. Um, it's really telling us to take a good look at ourselves uh, the, the full moon, I feel, is represented by this. So when the full moon comes, it, be weary. Emotions are going to be really high and flaring. There may be something very tempting in your world. But this one here also says that there's going to be people coming into your life that are very harmonious to your divine path and keeping everything balanced. It signifies possibilities and um, spiritual initiation, actually. That's why they have like the stuff wrapped around them, and there's the vines, which it represents growth in coming together. And it doesn't even have to be just a one-on-one -on -one partnership. It can be with a big group, which I really feel is happening with the, the Project Bring Me to Life crew, and the fact there's so many of us coming together. So just in general, try to find harmony in your day-to-day -day life with all your choices, and look to the positive, and manifest your dreams rather than your fears, and look for your inner harmony so the divine can guide you to beautiful places.